certain component and while doing so we will learn the plain tool in reference elements okay so here we go we will go to the start mechanical design part design i will keep the name of my part at default okay here we are in the part modeling environment now first of all we will draw this component on the horizontal plane whose dimensions are 120 by 120 and the radius of this arc is 60 so we will draw this profile on horizontal plane okay so i will select the horizontal plane that is plane xy and select the sketch tool okay select the profile tool complete the shape of your profile okay. so this is the shape of my profile <coughs> now i will align the center of this arc with the origin so i will select both these points and apply the constraint of coincidence now i will give the dimension to this arc it is 60 radius is 60 and this distance is 120 okay now if here this line is not exactly horizontal so select that line and apply the constraint of horizontal so now all of this cage is green that means i have totally constrained my geometry so i can exit this sketcher then we have to add the material so i will select the pad tool from sketch based features the total thickness of this material is 34 now since this is the first feature for the first features it's uh, always preferable to add the material on both the sides of sketch plane so I will do that by selecting the mirror extent from pad definition dialog box and for mirror extent you have to enter half of the total thickness as the length so it total was 34 so I will enter 17 that means 17 on both the sides of sketch plane so material is added in this manner okay now we want to draw this feature which is inclined at 30 degrees but we don't have that plane so first of all let us create that plane which is at 30 degrees to this horizontal plane okay so i will go to the reference toolbar select the tool plane under plane type i will select third option angle normal to the plane for rotation axis i want to rotate my plane about this edge so i will select that edge rotation reference this horizontal plane and angle is 30 degrees so i got that plane so i will select this plane as my sketch plane now I will select the sketch tool and i will complete the profile of this feature on that plane inclined at 30 degrees so the arc is of 40 as the radius and the center of that arc is at 100 from this edge okay so 140 so let us go to the profile tool and complete the profile okay so this is my profile okay so this is my profile now i will align the center of this curve with the vertical axis so select both these elements and apply the constraint of coincidence now radius of this arc is 40 okay and this edge coincides with this edge okay. so apply the constraint of coincidence okay now still it is not green because see this line is not vertical so let us apply the constraint select that line go to the constraint and select vertical okay and the distance of center of this curve from this edge is 100 so here i complete my profile all the elements in the profile are green that means it is totally constrained i can exit the sketcher environment 
Now we will add material to this sketch by selecting pad from sketch based features. The direction is correct. Now I want to add the material up to this surface. So in the type I select up to next and this is my feature. Now we have one hole on this feature whose diameter is 60. So I will select this inclined plane or surface as my sketch plane. Select the sketch tool, draw the circle, place the dimension and edit its value to 60. And this circle is concentric with this. So select both the elements and apply the constraint of concentricity. So here my circle is green. So I will exit the sketcher and remove the material using pocket command in sketch based features. Now I want to remove the material up to the last surface. So I will select up to last so that the hole is throughout hole. Okay. So now we will draw this feature with rectangular slot. First of all we will add the material of 40 by 6 because this total is 40 minus 34 is 6. So 6 by 40. So I will select this as my sketch plane, sketch tool, I will draw a rectangle using rectangle command from profile tool and I will dimension it using constraint toolbar, this is 40, okay, this is 40 and vertical length is or height is 6, so this is 6. And now this and this edge are aligned, okay, and this and this are aligned. So I apply the constraint of coincidence. So this is my feature, I will exit. Now add the material using pad command. I will change the direction, reverse direction and I want to add the material up to the selected surface. So I select this up to the surface, this one, okay, so it is not intersecting. So we will enter the length, it's 120, so 120, so I will try it once again, so this is my sketch. Okay, this is my sketch. Yes, it's constrained. So I will add the material in opposite direction by length of 120 millimeters. Okay, done. Now we have one uh, triangular slot in this uh, newly added feature. Okay, these are the dimensions 60 degrees, 20, and 10, 10. Okay, so let us do that. So this is my sketch plane, sketch tool, I will draw one simple triangle using profile tool, okay. Next, I will dimension it, this, this angle is 60, okay, so it's 60, now this coincides with this bottom edge. So I will select both these features, elements and apply the constraint of coincidence, okay. Now let us move this towards left, okay. Now I will dimension this point from this as 10 because it is given in the drawing, it is 10 from here to here it's 10 and from here to this vertex is 10. So distance, sorry I am repeating this, from this point to this. Okay distance, so it is taking as over constraint, okay, let us check the dimensions, so it is 60 degrees, I will edit it again, it is 60 degrees, 
Now from here to here is 20, 10, 10, 20. Okay. So dimension from this to this is 20. So I have done all the elements in my sketch are green now. So I exit here and I will remove the material using pocket command. And I want to remove the material up to last. Okay, done. This completes our machine component. Let us check using isometric view. Yes, we are done. Thank you.